Hello Dreamers, this video is for all of those people who are thinking of applying the Canadian PR through the express entry process or they have just started it or they are in midway between because in this video I'm going to tell you about the acronyms that are used in the complete process. There are so many acronyms or abbreviations used and it confuses a lot of people. So in this video I've tried to cover all the acronyms that are used in the express entry process. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries and I regularly upload videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. And now you can follow me on Instagram as well. My Insta handle is dreamabroad.mylife. Okay, I've divided the complete process into five different categories so that it would be quite easy for you to understand. The first category is authorization bodies, second one documents, third one is processes, the fourth one is language tests and the fifth one is miscellaneous. I've tried to cover mostly all of those acronyms that are used in the express entry process but if you think that I've missed anyone please feel free to comment down below. Okay now the first one authorization bodies. CIC and IRCC. CIC stands for C Citizenship and Immigration Canada and IRCC stands for Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. CIC was the name of the body until 2016 I guess. Uh, in the early 2016 it was renamed to IRCC so they are both the same things. CIO is Centralized Intake Office, DMP is Designated Medical Practitioner and CPC is Case Processing Centre. So I think they are quite uh, you know obvious to understand. DMP is basically designated medical practitioner and you have to go through the medical test through a DMP only. Now all those organizations which are required in your education credential assessment WES is World Education Services, IQAS is International Qualifications Assessment Service, ICAS is International Credential Assessment Service of Canada, ICES is International Credential Evaluation Service and CES is Comparative Education Service from University of Toronto School of Continuing Studies. Now all of these five organizations you can get your education credential assessment from any of these bodies. Okay now the language tests. First of all IELTS. International English Language Testing System CELPIP Canadian English Language Proficiency Index Program TEF Canada Test Evaluation de Francis TCF Canada, Test de Conscience du Francis. I'm really sorry, I'm really bad with French. So if I don't pronounce anything right in French, please excuse me for that. Okay, and now CLB is Canadian Language Benchmark. NCLC is Nivex D Competence Linguistic Canadians. BC is British Council and IDP is International Development Program. Now talking of the first four IELTS and CELPIP, these are the two tests for English. You can appear for either of them and TEF Canada and TCF Canada are two tests for French. You can appear for either of them. CLB is the language ben benchmark system for English. Like you might have heard of CLB 8, CLB 9, CLB 10 and similar is for NCLC. British Council and IDP are the two bodies which conducts the IELTS test in India and all over the world. Okay, documents. So first of all, the most important one is invitation to apply, the ITA. The second one is PCC, Police Clearance Certificate, POF, Proof of Funds, AOR is Acknowledgement of Receipt, EAPR is Electronic Application for Permanent Residence, LMIAA is Labor Market Impact Assessment and COPR is Confirmation of Permanent Residence. Now ITA is the document which you get after the draw. That's the invitation from the government to apply for the CO, for the permanent residence of Canada. The PCC is the Police Clearance Certificate, quite obvious. Proof of funds is the settlement uh, funds that you need to show. They need to show a proof of the funds. That is on the bank letter. AOR is Acknowledgement of Receipt. So once you do the payment and you're done with everything, submit the documents, then you get the AOR. EAPR electronic application for permanent residence. Uh, this is not actually a document, but it's actually an application for the permanent residence once you fill up the form and everything. LMIA is basically 
the document that you need to get from the employer if you get a job offer from that employer copr is confirmation of permanent residence once your pr gets approved then they give you this document okay processes now the first one is eca your education credential assessment then cec canadian experience class fsw federal skilled worker fstc federal skilled trade class pnp provincial nominee program now there are various pnp programs like oinp sinp minp therefore ontario saskatchewan and manitoba immigrant nominee programs so uh, there are many others for each and every other province but i haven't named all of them now these cec fsw and fstc are three different programs of the express entry process and we do apply through only three of these programs if you're applying through the express entry program pnp i'm sure you know pretty well okay miscellaneous crs comprehensive ranking system mec minimum entry criteria noc is national occupation classification ecas is e client application status gcms is global case management system irpa is immigration and refugee protection act the irpa is immigration and refugee protections protection regulations hrsdc is human resources and skills development canada pgwp is post graduation work permit uci is unique client identifier and rrpf is right of permanent residence fee now crs is it's a system through which you are ranked in the express entry pool you'll have a certain score based on this crs system based on your age education work experience and everything minimum eligibility criteria is like uh, the minimum criteria for eligibility as it suggests and noc is a uh, national occupation classification you have to find one particular noc code based on your job duties eacs you have it's your application status actually which you can check online after you have submitted the application gcms is the uh, is a system where every case gets logged you can find the gcms notes as well you can request them and irpa is the act and irpr is the regulations hrsdc is actually an organization uh, which you know human resources and skills development it controls that and uh, you know pgw pays the work permit and uci is is an identifier it's a number which is you will find on your copr through which they will actually identify your application and rrpf is quite obvious so guys i hope that you uh, know all the information that i've provided in this video would help you guys understand the complete express entry process so thank you guys for watching this video if you want to know the step by step process for the express entry for, to apply the canadian pr in 2019 please watch this video i'll provide the link in the description box and you'll find the link on your screen as well also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please consider subscribing